Hello, my name is Brett Champion, and today we will look at new visualization features in version 11. We will focus on three general areas, improvements to the core visualization functions, plotting over 3D volumes, and visualizing special types of data. Version 11 has added labeling and callouts to many of the most common plotting functions, added support for scaled axes, and updated the system for excluding singular points from plots. It also allows functions to be plotted over geometric regions. Our first labeling example uses list log log plot with data that connects the population and GDP for each country in South America with the name of the country to automatically label the points in the plot. The next example looks at time series of the populations for the same countries and uses a simple callout to label the curves with their names in a way that makes it easy to see the relative order of the countries. The final example uses more complicated callouts with a balloon appearance to label the plots of sine and cosine. Next, we will look at the ranking of some common boys' names over the past 15 years. We use a scaling function to reverse the y axis so that the name ranked first is at the top. Over a longer time period, there's more variation, so we construct a scaling function that uses a log scale, but still with the most popular name at the top. The system for removing discontinuities from plots has previously worked for branch cuts and piecewise jumps in functions. In version 11, we can now also remove poles and essential singularities, so functions such as 1 over x and tangent of x will plot without showing asymptotes. This also works in higher dimensions and for functions that have multiple sources of discontinuity. Finally, visualization functions can plot over geometric regions such as this contour plot over a disk. For a more complicated region, we have three circles with a triangle cut out, which is non-convex and isn't even a connected region. The new functions for volume visualization fall into two groups, volumetric density plots and slice plots that plot on a surface that slices through 3D space. The next few examples all use the same function of three variables. In the density plot, values of the function are mapped to color and opacity to show how it varies in a 3D region. The legend shows not only what colors correspond to what values, but which region values are most opaque. In this case, the emphasis is on the high and low values of the function. And of course, we can plot over a general region. Here we look at the same function, but plotted as a color density on three planes that each bisect the region. There are several built-in surfaces, but you can also give equations or surface regions to use as slices. Version 11 has many new functions for plotting special types of data, but we will only look at a few of them, anatomical data, dates and times, and text. Anatomy Plot 3D simplifies the construction of anatomical models using the Wolfram knowledge base. While all the structures have sensible default styles, you can adjust them as needed. In this model of a human hand, the muscles are mostly transparent and it has a green thumb. Timelines make it easy to see the relative ordering of dates, such as this one being the release dates for the 20 highest grossing movies of all time. You can also create histograms to show how many movies were released each year. By using daily bins, but ignoring years, months, and weeks, we see that Friday is by far the most common release day. The last type of data we're going to visualize is textual data by creating word clouds where the size of the text depends on how frequently it was used in the input. We see that the Declaration of Independence is focused on the people and rights and government. One of the cool things with word clouds is that we can fit them into arbitrary shapes, such as the Liberty Bell. This has been a very small introduction to new visualization features in version 11, and here are some links to additional web pages that have many more examples and more detail. Thank you, and now we'll answer questions.